lot of people have been waiting for this and you're able to redeem this with your rewards because the collection is $16.95 for the body mist and I think for $14.95. Either the lotion or the body wash. Maybe it's the body wash. Okay, but anyways, they have three scents in here. So they have lavender, apple, and musk. It seems like the theme of this collection is to do it in order. So number one, you would cleanse. Number two, moisturize. And number three, you would put on the body mist. So for the first one I'm going to go over is the lavender. It's supposed to be calming and then it says floral breeze. The notes to this is lavender, jasmine, and vanilla. The jasmine in there kind of took the back seat and this smells like it's a mixture of lavender and vanilla. It was a very nice combination. It was comforting. And the lavender in there is inoffensive. So if you like scents like Burberry Goddess, I feel like this is a lighter version of that. And... I feel like this would be good for layering or on its own. I personally own Burberry Goddess that got, when I did like my fragrance of the 2023 compilation, my videos or whatever, I rated that as my number one fragrance of 2023. I love that fragrance. So I feel like the body wash would be something like that's nice and affordable to match with that. And I also feel like in the body cream, the lavender is a little bit more dominant than in the body wash and then the body mist. But once it dries down, it starts turning into that nice lavender vanilla combination. The dry down, you get more of the vanilla lavender combo like the rest of the line. Next up, we have apple. This is the one that I was most excited to smell because... I don't know, I didn't really shop at them Body Works once they had like their apple fragrances, so I completely missed that generation. <laughs> so I have not seen an apple fragrance, you know, in stores. For apple, it says a bright and light fruity delight, and the fragrance notes are apple, strawberry, and rain. This was a tart type of apple scent. The strawberry in there was sweet, and the rain note, the rain note made it very fresh. So I feel like throughout this line, the body cream and the body wash, it was very consistent. So overall, this smelled like apple, even though it has those other fragrance notes in there. Overall, it's an apple scent and it is really nice. Next up, we have musk. And this one, I had no idea what this was going to smell like. The notes were very interesting when I did see it. This says that it's a warm and comforting hug. The fragrance notes is musk, mimosa flower, and rice milk. So when I read it, I was like, this sounds like something that I would like, but I don't know because when something tends to be too musky, I don't really like it. This is a very light musk scent. It is comforting. It is warm. It's a little bit sheer. It's soothing, and I feel like it would be great for layering. I also think that this will be really good on its own as a skin scent. This isn't going to be something that's going to be very projecting. Like I said, it's very soothing and comforting. So I feel like overall, I feel like it was pretty consistent in between the products as far as the body mist and the body wash. But the lotion actually smells a lot more muskier, almost to the point where it's like, hmm, this is smelling like a little bit too musky. In the collection, I like the body wash and the body mist. I personally would not get the body cream, but you know, everybody likes something different. I always tell you guys to try it regardless if I like it or not. They also had this in bar soap form. The fragrance like isn't as good as the body wash and the moisturizing body wash. So I don't know. I personally skipped the bar soaps, but some people prefer that. Ice Lemon Pound Cake, I mentioned it earlier when I showed you guys the Wallflower. They do have the whole body care collection in new packaging. This smells exactly the same. It has the same fragrance notes. That is like top 10 in my Bath & Body Works fragrances. I love Ice Lemon Pound Cake. That's exactly what it smells like. So you have the full body care to that out. The I do want to say that I do like the packaging of the old one and the new one. It is both beautiful. Going to the next collection, they do have new laundry scents. I know people, I don't know, that's been like a toss up with people if they like it or not. I never personally tried it. I have smelled it in stores. 
So for the first one, they have Amber Blush. This one smells like a very nice ambery floral scent. I do like this one. Next up, we have Vanilla Suede. This was my number one favorite new scent that they came out with. This is a very cozy vanilla scent. Like I said, hands down my favorite. Next up, we have Morning Rain. So this has like an orange blossom, um, musky, and green note type of scent. All those combined, I thought it was okay. It probably wouldn't be personally something that I buy though. Next up, we have Raspberry Rainbow. This was my second favorite out of the bunch. This was a very fruity scent, like berries, and then it has a bit of floral in there. I thought this one was really, really nice. Like I said, if the vanilla one wasn't so comforting and, you know, warm, this one would be my favorite. So it just depends if you like the comforting or like the blast of fruit scent better. All right, next up we have Sun Wash on Tall. So I feel like this one was like the unisex scent. I feel like this was like a little bit masculine leaning. It definitely smells like Suntal in there. So guys might like this scent. And then they had white gardenia. This smelled like fresh florals and apple. Like you get the apple in there. And I wasn't expecting it until I looked at the notes. I was like, oh, it does have apple in it. Next up, Eucalyptus Mint. It smells just like the name, so if you like the two, you will love it, but I just really don't like eucalyptus most of the time, and that's what it smells like, a mixture of eucalyptus and mint. And then for the final one, we have Lavender Vanilla. It smells just like the name. The vanilla in there is like a creamy type of vanilla. I would say that I actually like this one. It's inoffensive. It smells really nice and comforting. All right, so now for the ultimate collection. This is the first time, I think, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think this is the first time that Bath & Body Works has officially said we are duping something. Now, there are other times where their fragrances does smell very similar to something, but this is like duping of like luxury brands and we are gonna get straight into it. So the reason why in my short that I mentioned Finery, from Target is because Finery does the same thing, Dossier does the same thing. There's a whole bunch of companies that do the same thing. Let me put down my notes for a second, okay? Because I think that this is great. There's some people that are highly against dupes, but I feel like not everybody could just sit there and spend hundreds of dollars on one fragrance. Like I feel like everybody should be able to smell nice and you know, Bath & Body Works, Finery, Dossier, amongst the others, they have made it like a way for people to smell nice at an affordable cost. So, guys, remember that not everybody's budget is the same. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I don't have, you know, uh, hundreds and thousands of dollars to be spending on fragrances and stuff like that. So, this is a nice alternative. And, you know, I'm a small YouTuber. I don't get, like, PR packagings like some. I just don't have, like, the money just to be blowing on stuff. Uh-uh. So, um, I am excited to do a fragrance review on affordable stuff. This is going to be Bath & Body Works Affordable Dupes. I do want to say that I have done Finery & Dossier uh, review. So, if you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out. But I am definitely going to be comparing some... Right now I have like my body mist, I have the perfumes, I have dossier. So we are going to be comparing because this is, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is great. So before I get into the actual fragrance by fragrance, I do want to talk about the price. For Finery, for their body mist, for example, this is their body mist and this is going for $14.99. They do have the perfume, which as you can see, I own. This is $29.99, so that is at Target. So this new collection is $18.95, so it is a little bit pricier than Target's body mist. I'm just comparing right now the body mist because that's what it is. It's not a perfume. And then for Dossier, this is Ambery Cherry. This is a perfume, it's not a body mist, so this is a little bit more expensive. I know a lot of times they have deals and percentages off, but again, it seems like the cheaper, I mean, that is a perfume, but 
the cheaper body mist out of the two is going to go to finery these are dupes it says that it's dupes of trending luxury fragrances i love how the display looks i love the colors that they chose for this because it's like a rainbow and it looks so beautiful there's three fragrances that i didn't get but i'm still going to do a review because i smelled it in stores I make my notes, so I'm going to go over each and every one of them, but we are going to go ahead and get into this haul. For the first one, we are going to go over is Covered in Roses. So this is a beautiful pink packaging. It has a gold trim, and I do want to say, for anyone who's gotten this or seen this in stores and actually picked it up, do you guys realize that the quality of the bottle is a little bit different? Because I was like, hold up. This is a little bit harder to squeeze. Like, it, it seems like the regular Bath & Body Works packaging is a lot softer. So I was like, oh, this is nice. Now, the cap is still the same. It is the same color as the bottle. But it's simple. It's nice. For Covered in Roses, this is the fragrance notes. So that is ruby berries, sugared rosebuds, and blush amber. Sorry, I'm trying to read backwards. Um, if you love rose, or actually if you don't like rose, you still need to try this. This smells so nice. Okay, so I had to stop and get my regular rose scent from Bath & Body Works because that rose is on another level. So I feel like this is like a light, fresh rose. But this one, I feel like this is a light, everyday rose. It's fresh, it's clean, it's floral, it's rose. It, it smells like it's a good everyday scent. But this one, this is grown woman rose. Like it smells like rose petals it's musky it's sweet this smells good even if you listen even if you don't like rose you need to try this this smells expensive so so far this line is doing really good with even just the first one I feel like there's a fruity note in there too. And I think it has berries, right? Yeah, ruby berries. So it smells, overall, it smells like rose, like rose petals. You have a really sweet sugary scent in there. You have a, a fruit smell in there. The berries. It smells good. Oh, goodness. And it's musky. So, yeah, this definitely smells more expensive than a Bath & Body Works. Again, this is going for $18.95. This is grown woman rose and not mature. There is a difference. A lot of times people don't like rose because it gives off that really musky, powdery scent where they're just like, oh, my goodness, this smells like you know like an old person <laughs> but no neither one of these have that like i said this is like a fresh you know rose petal everyday scent and then this one it's like i'm going on a date going on an event like i i want to smell good like and be remembered this one you want to smell nice and clean and floral and it might disappear in the wind every, uh, after a while but this one is here to stay so this one is really really good now something that i do want to mention before i start going into the other ones that the official website does not say what this is a dupe of and i want that's like a legal thing because a lot of these dupes like I know Dossier does it but Finery doesn't so it's kind of like you have to know like fragrances like by memory or you have them in your collection to like actually match it with the smell but I really wish they would like just hey this is inspired by this when it starts to dry down I feel like because I, I tried this on in stores I feel like it starts to smell more of that sugary and musky scent to it. So I am going to spray this on my wrist and we're gonna come back to it. But yeah, 
definitely has a sugary musky scent to it over the rose all right next up we are we are going to get into we're still in the pinks because like i said this is a beautiful rainbow color collection right so next up we are going to get into pink obsessed like i said it's all of these have the same packaging it just changes in colors this says we made oh did the first one say something for covered in roses it says savor the softness of lush florals and immerse yourself in the luxury of a thousand rose petals at your fingertips descriptive but not descriptive of who they're copying off of back to pink obsessed this says we made you blush embody the power of pink and take a trip to your happy place with this perfect blend of vanilla and warm florals we're going to spray this a little bit further down I remember this one <laughs> when I when I sprayed it in stores. Okay, so the notes of this, let's let's see. All right, the notes are blushing jasmine, cashmere, praline, and vanilla bourbon. Now I just bought that strawberry bourbon and vanilla, and I feel like, do I need it because of this? Now that one, it does smell good. Overall, it is like a strawberry scent. And I told you guys that I wish it had more of the vanilla bourbon in there. Here we go. This one smells amazing. I feel like this one, if you like pink florals, that is what you get in here. You do actually get a vanilla bourbon similar to cozy vanilla bourbon in there. It is very sweet. And I think that the pink florals is giving a little bit of sheerness in there. And I really, really like this one. Um, I typically tend to like pink scents. And I do the quotations because some people are like, well, what does pink smell like? So I think of like, sometimes it could lean on the fruitier side and sometimes it can lean on like the floral side. This is like pink florals and it smells really feminine. Like I said, it has a sheerness to it. You get that vanilla bourbon. Again, so far, even like when I smelled in the stores, these are grown woman scents. They are after, uh, made after luxury fragrances. So I was wondering, like I, it's not coming to my mind what these are dupes of, or at least some of them. And I'm looking at the fragrance notes. And girl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know it definitely isn't like a dupe of like finery's newer ones like like madame is it madame or madam i think people say madam i'm not saying it with an accent yeah this is definitely not this and i know for sure it isn't born to empress but i'm gonna just try it anyways wait a minute <laughs> whoa do these smell similar they smell kind of similar so yeah i wonder if this is a dupe of the same thing hmm. Hmm. <laughs> they both smell really good I'm, I'm telling you these kind of smell the same so i'm just gonna show you the finery notes so it's pink rhubarb, damask rose, and cypress woods. Like when I seen the rhubarb, I was wondering if it was a dupe of Delina. But to me, I don't like Delina, but I like that. So I don't know. I feel like it's, it's similar, but I feel like Pink Obsessed is a little bit sweeter. So. I might like this one a little bit more. Interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, Cherry. Actually, I could not find this one on the website, so I'm just going to go by what I've seen in the store and my thoughts. This one says Black Cherry, Sheer Magnolia, and Tonka Bean. I had a feeling what this was going to be a dupe of, and when I smelled it, it just confirmed it. For sure. Hands down. So yeah, this is definitely a dupe of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. That is a very popular fragrance. 
And I feel like that is so great that Bath & Body Works has made affordable dupe of that. Again, $18.95. Sorry for the blurriness. It is $18.95. Fineries is cheaper technically, but with Bath & Body Works, this is an eight fluid ounce and this is a five fluid ounce. Yeah, they smell really similar, guys. I will say the only thing with Bath & Body Works version, it smells a little bit more floral. Just a tiny bit more than finery. But I will say that my favorite Tom Ford dupe has to be Ambery Cherry by Dossier. I just feel like they have the closest version to it that I've personally smelled. It's something in there that they're capturing that finery mist and Bath & Body Works mist. But I feel like this is closer to the original than Finery. And I even have like the perfume version of it too for Finery. I feel like it's something that Dossier got that the other ones didn't. But back to Bath & Body Works. Oh, Cherry. I was not planning on getting this because as you can see, I have many dupes of uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So when I smelled it, I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely a dupe. I don't need it. But girl. For $18.95? Actually, I paid cheaper because I did use every coupon that I could muster to like bring down the price for these. But I thought that I didn't need one, but I was like, why not for this price? And then on top of it, you know, you can refresh and up, carry this in your purse or whatever. I feel like, why not? So again, this is a great dupe, affordable dupe of Tom Ford Cherry. This smells just a tiny bit more floral. But overall, I feel like they did do a good job with this. All right, next up we have Petal Parade. On the website, it says, like taking your first steps into your favorite flower shop. Shower yourself in this flower petal confetti and celebrate you. The fragrance notes of this is Neroli Petals, Orange Flower, and White Woods. This one smells so nice. It's sweeter on my skin than it is in the cap. This one smells expensive. Way more expensive than $18.95, I'll tell you that. Definitely is a floral, it's sweet, and it smells fresh. So I get the description of it, like you're smelling a bunch of different flowers. It smells nice. So if you love florals, this again is a grown woman floral. This isn't like, I can't compare this to other Bath & Body Works scents because I feel like this one smells more expensive than them and it smells like, you know, grown woman. This one, I feel like it would be great for date night. I mean, I feel like you can wear it in the office and during the day, but I feel like this one, you see how this is a deeper purple? Like, I feel like... It's more a date night than the other one, so I, I like this one for sure. I can't really pinpoint what type of floral that I'm smelling. It smells like a mixture of them, but they smell like deep, musky florals. But it smells really nice. Even if you don't like florals, check that one out, guys. All right, for the next one, we have Getaway Soiree. This is the orange bottle. The bottle caught my attention. I love the color to it. And it says, say farewell to your blues, brighten your day with a spritz of sunshine that is sure to transport you to your own vacation getaway. So the notes of this is, let's see, it is sun-kissed mandarin, tuberose, and solar musk. I wasn't sure how I was going to like this one. Just because, like, when I seen the colors, I was like, oh, no, is this like that magnetic candy that Finery did? I hated that one. I know a lot of people liked it. I just, it was something in there, like, one note in there that was making it smell weird. But this smells nice. So, this has that musky, like, that grown woman muskiness that the other ones have. But it's brightened by the solar notes. It smells sunny. It smells like something you would wear for summer. So I don't know what exactly this is a dupe of. But if it's supposed to be that magnetic candy, uh-uh. This is way better. So yeah, if you like solar, 
Some are fragrances that are like ambery, like you're out in the sun, you feel like you're standing in it. Like this, just that like nostalgic smell. I feel like this one would be nice. I feel like this would be best to wear during the day. Like I said, you can wear fragrances whenever you want, but I feel like this just goes with like the morning, the sunshine, you know, out in the day. I feel like this one is really nice. So that is Getaway Soiree. Really nice. All right, for the next one we have is Viva Vanilla. I was excited about this one. You know, everybody loves a good vanilla. So this is like tan, like a tannish beige packaging. And so let's read the notes for that. So that's rich plum, glowing amber, and addictive vanilla. So for the description on the website, it says revive your senses and live life on the edge of comfort with this vanilla luxury bursting with spirit and spunk. Woo! <laughs> this is a nice vanilla. And it's bothering me because it smells like something and I could not figure it out. I feel like this smells like a very sweet vanilla. It's slightly woody. It does have like an ambery, uh, ambery scent to it. But this smells so familiar. And it smells like something that I have. So I brought out Finery's Sweet on the outside just because I want to see like, is this it? But I don't think that it is. No, it's not this for sure. I can't figure out what this is, but this is a very nice vanilla. Like I said, it's slightly woody, but it's very sweet. It's musky, and I really, really like this. I wonder if this is like that Wicked Woods um, that a lot of people were talking about for Halloween. I never got a chance to smell it. I did smell the soap. Maybe that's what this is. No. The reason why I say that is because it says that it's after a trending luxury fragrance and I'm just wondering like what is this I have Billie Eilish upstairs it's not that I don't know I don't know but this smells really really good I highly recommend I'm saying that a lot for these but I highly recommend them but I'm telling you they do smell good all right next up we have if you musk that is one of the ones that I did not get so the description of that one, it says, if you must know this scent was made for you, let your natural radiance shine with this everlasting scent that brings out the best in you. So the fragrance notes is iris, pink pepper, and airy musk. I feel like this was an airy fresh, um, an airy fresh scent. It did have a slight peppery note to it and a bit of floral. But overall, I feel like this was a skin scent. If I had to compare the two musk that came out for Bath & Body Works, I did prefer the other one because that one was soothing. This one does smell stronger for sure. I think this one will outlast the other musk in that one, two, three collection. <laughs> but uh, for sure. But what bothered me about this one is that I usually don't like pepper notes and fragrances. And... I feel like it wasn't that bad in this one, but the more that I smelled it, the more that it had like a plasticky scent to this fragrance. That made me decide to pass on it. I was going to get it. I was like, this pepper note isn't that bad, but that plastic note kept screaming out to me and I was like, no, I gotta pass on it. So that is the main thing that I didn't like about If You Musk. Now, Finery did have a, a musk, what did it call? I'm a Musk? I think it was called I'm a Musk or something. It was in the white bottle and I hated that fragrance. I mentioned that in my finery review video, the first one in the first collection. I just did not like it. I know a lot of people did. It was something that was like very peppery and woody in that one that I just hated. But yeah, this one for sure is better than fineries. I feel like as far as the scent... I like the musk in the 123 collection, but I feel like this one is more luxurious. It's just, it had that plastic scent. 
I'm repeating myself. So that was If You Musk. All right, so for the next one, we have Lost in Santal. I'm sure you guys can guess what this is a dupe of. For sure I know. Le Labo Santal. But the description says, let's get lost in the secret of sandalwood. Rediscover yourself with this woody and sophisticated scent. The fragrance notes are warm cardamom, warm cardamom, satin, sandalwood, and cedarwood. I feel like this one, first of all, it was way better than Fineries. And I say that because Fineries Jungle Santal smells terrible. Even when I went back for the new collection, I specifically smelled that one because I was just like, the whole family reacted to it. It was bad. But this one wasn't, it didn't have that. I don't know how to say it without sounding terrible, like that trash smell in there. <laughs> Listen, I know there's a lot of people that will maybe disagree, but like when we smelled it, it had like, I don't know, it smelled like, like vegetables going bad. Like it was, it was bad. This one, I just feel like, okay, so first of all, I feel like out of this collection, I feel like this one is the more unisex one. But I feel like it's a little bit masculine leaning. So the wood in this one is very strong. And when the wood is too strong, I don't typically like to wear it. On me at least. But at the same time, I don't think I would want my husband to wear this either. I didn't really, you know, like it too much. Um, so it was woody. It had green notes. That's what it smelled like to me. Um, you could definitely smell the cardamom. Like I said, it is better than Fineries, but I just cannot get with that Lalabo Santal, whether it's the actual thing or whether it's a dupe. I just don't personally like it. But if you do like it, I feel like you may like this one. All right, so that is Lost in Santal. For the next one, I did get, this is Floral Fantasy. So it is in the purple bottle. And this one was definitely interesting on what it reminded me of. So in the description on the website, it says, Close your eyes and feel transported into your wildest dreams. Embrace the tranquility and peacefulness of your own secret flower garden. The fragrance notes, peach, osmanthus, jasmine, and warm patchouli. Judging by the bottle, judging by the patchouli, I thought, okay, this is going to be a nighttime fragrance for sure. I'm going to spray it on me and in the cap. And do you guys know what this reminds me of? First of all, let me, let me describe it first. This is a very uh, comforting scent. I feel like the patchouli isn't too much in here. It's definitely a grown woman scent. It does smell floral. Um, it sm has a freshness to it, even though like the patchouli gives it like a little bit of muskiness. But it's something really like comforting and soothing about it. And it reminds me of something for sure. If you remember Sol de Janeiro's After Dark, this reminds me of After Dark mixed with their newer scent called Delicia Drench. If you combine those two, that is what floral fantasy smells like. So I wonder exactly what is this? I really, really like this one. So again, um, this is like a grown woman scent. I feel like it's warm, it's floral, it's like a nighttime scent. And I feel like it smells like a mix of those two. So I didn't end up getting After Dark. I did do a review on it, but I did get Delicia Drench. But I remember what After Dark smells like. It's not that I didn't like it. I feel like I didn't really need it. And now that I got this, I definitely don't need it. I just feel like it smells like a really nice blend of the two. So again, that is Floral Fantasy. So definitely try that out. Whether you liked After Dark or not, or whether you like Delicia Drench or not, and if you hear that rubbing in the background, that was my husband rubbing his arms. The lotion. <laughs> I guess he thought this was the perfect time. Oh, she's talking about body care. Let me put some lotion on. All right, so that is Floral Fantasy. And then for the last one, I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm finally on the last one, was On the Horizon. So that was the one in the blue bottle. 
I was automatically thinking it's an aquatic scent. So in the on the website, the description says, like sitting at the ocean's edge and watching the sun dip beneath the horizon, transport yourself to the waterfront and retreat and let your worries drift away. The fragrance notes to that is watery bergamot, lotus blossom, and driftwood moss. So because it has lotus in there, I was like, ooh, I was wondering if I was going to like it. Usually when something has like a floral and maybe like an aquatic type of notes, you know, aquatic type of notes in there, it's either a hit a hit or a miss. It made me nervous is the driftwood moss though. So let's get into it. I thought this one was very airy. I thought it was aquatic. I thought it was unisex. If the line for unisex is right here, that on the horizon was like slightly leaning masculine. But then the more that it dried down, it got even more masculine. So I decided to skip on that one. And the reason why I feel like it started to get more masculine is because the woody scent in there just started being overpowering. And to me, it had a strong wood in there. So while it was fresh, while it was airy, while it was aquatic, that wood in there really, really stands out. So just take note of that. So I think that is pretty much it for my comparison, my review, my my haul, my walkthrough. Um, sorry if this video took a long time, but I did want to go over all the collections with you. Guys, these are definitely something to look into. I feel like Bath & Body Works did really, really good dropping these. You have a lot of selections and varieties to choose from. So let me know in the comment section which one you picked up, which one you're looking forward to. And I have not forgot about Victoria's Secret. I'm just waiting on the arrival. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, because right now they have a buy three, get one free, which I know there are a lot better sales than that. Because I was getting so much and using rewards and coupons and stuff, I did decide to get my husband something because I didn't want to get anything else in like the luxury collection. I was still debating on if I wanted that musk in that musk one in the one two three collection so i ended up getting my husband something so i did get him after dark it was something that he picked up one time when we were roaming around there and he was like oh i think this one is pretty nice like i said i was looking forward to getting him first sight but then when i smelled it i didn't really like it and he smelled it on a tester strip and he didn't really like it so i ended up getting him after dark to this to just complete the sale. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping. Bye.